Well, hey guys, Jess here, LJM Farm and Outdoors. Welcome back to the channel. So it's kind of a stormy, nasty day here today. And I thought I would bring you a real quick video from the shop. Now we live in a very rural part of southeastern Oklahoma and our internet options, or at least good internet options, are few and far between. Much like the cable options for the Starlink. Now we have had the Starlink system set up and testing it out for about seven months now. At this point, I think we're good to uh, get the cable installed more permanently. Now, we've been using the 75-footer that came with the system, but honestly, it's just too short. But the 150-footer, that is the only other option, would actually be too long and just would be too much of an excess to have to deal with. Now, I don't want to cut my existing cable. I want to leave it intact if I can. So I went on the hunt for a more permanent solution, and I think I have found that, and that's what I want to share with you today. Now, not only is it a more flexible option than the Starlink cable, it also should cost you a little less depending on the length of cable that you need. So if you have been looking for a solution to either extend your Starlink cable, repair your Starlink cable, or if you just want a cable system that will work with your Starlink that is definitely more flexible, I have the perfect solution for you here today. So let's get started. All right, what we have here is the adapter kit that I found on Amazon. Now this is labeled as star gear on this box, but in the actual listing, they actually, and it's on this sticker here too, they call it a, a clutch tech. I'm assuming that's how you pronounce it. But basically you get a pair of adapters. You get one for the satellite end, which is what this one is. You can see it has that straight end just like your Starlink cable. And the other end will go into either your router or your ethernet adapter, which is what I have. Now, I have already hooked this up. I have confirmed that it works just fine. And, uh, you know, I wanted to do that before I made a video on it and started recommending it to anybody. So, just real quick, what this is designed for is for you to use a shielded Cat6 cable. Now, you can buy pre-made or make your own. The advantage of making your own is that you can get it to the exact length that you need it. But, there are a lot of pre-made options out there that will get you much closer than say the 150 or 75 footers. I think I actually needed like 80 to 90 foot, somewhere around there. You know, the 75 footer was just too short, but I could get a 100 footer and have a lot less excess that I had to deal with than if I would get the 150 footer direct from Starlink. So just real quick, this is how this will come. These have a cap on the end, just take that off. And now you can see we have an RJ45 jack that will accept your Cat6 end. And so let's put one of these together right quick. Now assuming you buy a pre-made cable, a lot of times those come with the rubber strain relief boots on them. You will have to cut those off because the tolerances, the tolerance of the inside of this adapter here are just too tight and that rubber boot will get in the way. So you can see that I don't have any rubber strain relief boots on this end here. And let's assume that this is a long piece of cable and we are up. Let's see, this is going to be this is going to be the router end. So let's assume we're in the house. Let's assume that we have ran our cable and we are ready to put the adapters on. So here's the piece that's threaded on one end. The other end has this domed slope to it and that is designed so that it goes over these fingers here and squeezes down on the rubber piece around your cable. You want to make sure and put that in on first. Next step is going to be your rubber silicone piece. It is split so that allows you to, to place it over the cable even with the end on. And next thing you want to do is slide the the piece with the fingers, the flexible fingers over your cable end. And again, the rubber piece goes inside of these fingers, which you don't actually have to do now. And actually it'll be easier. To just slide that, that down out of the way. It'll be easier uh, just to leave this part separated for now. And now remember, I told you don't forget the white gasket. This probably isn't as crucial on the inside unit, but definitely on the outside adapter you don't want to forget that that white gasket and now we are ready to engage the RJ45 plug into the jack and 
Now we're threaded. Now I don't, you don't need to over tighten this. You just want it snug. And that's really hard to explain how tight I have that on camera. But I can just tell that I've backed up against that rubber gasket now. And so I should have a weatherproof seal. Now on this part, I'm not too clear. They didn't really give good instructions. But there is a nut here. And so this could be used to tighten up against the, the threaded end that we just threaded on here. And to keep that, you know, make it more solid, kind of as a backing nut or a lock nut. But on your inside, this also could be used to mount this to like a panel, a uh, piece of mantle, kind of like a panel mount type of situation. So just a few options that you have there for that connector. I'm going to back this back up here. Like I said, I've tightened this snug. I know that I have a good waterproof seal uh, with this white gasket in here. Now I'm ready to slide my silicone piece in. And then I can slide this tightening cap over that. Tighten that down. And as you tighten this down, those fingers will squeeze around this rubber piece right here and actually start to bulge. You can actually see it start to bulge out. And what that's doing is tightening around this cable and that provides a weatherproof seal for your cable side. And there you have it. There is how you connect these up. And then all you have to do is just plug this into your router or your ethernet adapter. Now once you do that one, the one on the satellite end is exactly the same. Now like I said, you can find these shielded Cat6 cables on Amazon. There are a lot of different options in length. Or if you want to buy a bulk cable, you can buy bulk and make your own. Here's a crimper and some pass-through connectors. I'm not really a fan of pass-through connectors. I learned on the old style. But sometimes in these thicker, higher bandwidth type cables, there's so much shielding and things like that in there that the pass-throughs really do come in handy. And I did test out this pass-through kit on the end of this scrap piece of Cat6 that I had, and it worked just fine. The only thing with Cat6 is that it is shielded, so you do have a shielding wire that you want to fold back and then fold those tabs over that so that you have a continuous shield here. But this crimper does have the automatic cutter on it for your Cat6 cable, or for your pass-through connectors, I mean. They actually give you a little color code there if you need that. This does have an automatic stripper on it. It's actually a pretty nice, pretty handy little pair of uh, strippers and crimpers so that's an option there if you want to do that route but, but it would actually be cheaper if you just buy a pre-made cat6 cable just get close to the length you need well, all right there you have it there's a very good option if you are looking for a solution to be able to extend your starlink cable and i was kind of concerned about what the quality of these might be like but you know i'm not concerned anymore they came in they actually feel very durable and so, you know, only time will tell. I've only had a short amount of time with these, but so far, I, I like what I'm seeing. You know, that's, that's one area where I think Starlink could have done a little bit better job is on the R&D on the cable side. You know, I don't know why all of these manufacturers have to do something proprietary, um, but they do. And in the end, we consumers actually end up paying the price. Anyhow, that's all I have for you today. Thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate it. If this video helped you out at all, do me a huge favor and click that like button and subscribe on your way out. And as always, we'll see you on the next video.